My name is Kung Jade, and I'm Squamish, Musqueam, and Haida. And I'm going to share a story, a Squamish story, about the flood. So in the long, long ago, when the world was fairly new, the Squamish people had three main helpers, three very important people. There was the Indian doctor, who trained for years and years with ceremonies of uh, cleansing himself with baths and brushing with cedar boughs and going on vision quests so that he could gain his power to help heal the people. And then there was the medicine man who had tamil, had red paint, and he also had special chants that he would use to also help heal the people. And then there was the prophet who didn't have any medicines and he couldn't heal people in that way, but he could foretell someone's future. So in the beginning, the Squamish people were told by the old people, by the prophet, by the medicine people about how to be good people. They were told to be humble and kind. They were told to be generous and share what they had with their family, with their friends. They were told to help others. And I am standing here at Siwash Rock in Stanley Park. And I actually want to tell you the story of Siwash Rock. It's a wonderful story. It's all about clean fatherhood. So there are four main brothers. They were Squamish men, very powerful, magical medicine men. Not the Indian doctor, but they were medicine men who knew how to use tamash, red paint. They knew how to say special words of magic, chants. They knew how to help people and this is what they did in Squamish territory. They traveled all around Squamish territory helping the Squamish people whenever they could. So the, they were called the highest brothers and they were traveling in a canoe in this area. They were traveling in this canoe where the canoe was actually the youngest brother transformed so that he could be the canoe. When they came across this man, this Squamish man, who was bathing right here where this point is, he was bathing in the ocean. He was brushing himself off with cedar boughs. This is part of one of our ceremonies for purification, so that we can cleanse ourselves to make ourselves clean in our hearts minds, bodies, and spirits. Hosiem, Chukmahat, Tan Kushaman, Apalak Stomoksna. We'll be sharing with you a canoe song, a song to complement the flood story. We are water people, we are people of the canoe, and it's our highway right out here. And it goes like this. And I'm going to tell you the story of how the salmon came to the Squamish people. In the long ago, there were four brothers who had special powers. They were medicine men. They had chants that they could use. They were called the highest brothers. And they went about in Squamish territory, helping the people, helping all of the Squamish people in whatever way they could. 
they were traveling by canoe. And this was a very special canoe because really this canoe was the youngest brother who had transformed himself into that canoe. They came to a settlement where the Squamish people came and they greeted the highest brothers and said, could you please bring the salmon to our waters? We're so hungry all the time because there's such little food here. But we've heard about the salmon, how delicious it is, how wonderful. Could you do this for us, please? The highest brother said, yes, we will visit the salmon chief. But when they spoke to one another, they had to figure out where the salmon lived. They didn't know at this time. So they decided they were going to ask Snookum, the sun. The sun is high in the sky every day and can see everything here on earth. So he would know exactly where the salmon lived. I will be telling you a story from here at Prospect Point in Stanley Park. I want to tell you the story of the twin sisters, the two sisters. So in the long ago, there was a great chief, a very powerful chief. And he was at war for a very, very long time with a northern tribe. Now this northern tribe was the Haida. This war lasted for weeks and weeks and weeks. It just continued. There were many losses on both sides. But there came a point when this chief knew he was going to put down his weapons because his two daughters had come of age. He was hosting a puberty potlatch to announce to the world that his two girls were now women. 